Hello, I am Suzanne Nardigo and this is Visualizing Evolving Software and Data Cities with Metricity. This work is in collaboration with Chaba Nagy, Roberto Minelli and Michele Lanza. This is the homepage of Metricity. By inputting a URL of a repository, a new analysis is initiated. As optional, the user can choose the database dialect to use for the analysis. This is the main page of Metricity. In the center, there is the city. At the corners, information about the repository and the current commit. At the bottom, a chart shows overall statistics about the evolution. Below the city, buttons allow the control of the visualization of the evolution. For example, we can go forward by one commit, we can increase the speed, and we can press play and look at the evolution. Hovering an entity shows its name, and by clicking, you can get information about the entity and highlights in the timeline of where the changes have happened. Our city features a sky with the database and its tables. The point of view of the city can be modified with the mouse. The user can zoom in and have the feeling of being a part of the city seen from very close. Here we see an example of yellow arcs that show the moving of an entity from the previous location to the new location. Our city features different types of entities. Code buildings are blue cuboids. Data files are orange cylinders and binaries are gray hemispheres. These three entities are part of the repositories. They were previously rendered as code buildings or filtered. Regarding databases, we created a table cylinder of red color to be easily distinguished. This entity type is inferred. For this reason, we gave it a ghosty look, making it slightly see-through. We show the city of a companion app of the GNU Cache accounting software. It features an SQLite database. The project starts with an initial commit containing source code. A few commits later, the database is introduced. Three years later, a refactoring takes place, which also includes a database schema, removing the prohibited tables and code. This revision has few tables, which are accessed only by few classes created to interact with them. We can see splits, transactions, and account. They have an adapter class, each. And there is also database helper. Toward the end of the evolution, the files are placed in the same position. The classes are bigger. The districts containing one small, tall, skinny data files are used for different languages that the application supports. I am Susanna Ardigo, and this is Visualizing Evolving Software and Data Cities with Metricity. Thank you for your attention.